Hey, this is DFS Matt here today, and uh, we're going to be talking about week one NFL fantasy projections. So let's just dive right into it. So first off, to get started, I'm going to take a look at uh, the teams that are playing. Now, the biggest game of the week is probably the KC-Houston game. KC's got a uh, total of 31.75 points implied for the week, which is the highest of the week. However, that game's on the Thursday night, so that's not going to be in the main slate or the millionaire slate. So we, there's a lot of really good games that we're taking off the board because it's not uh, part of the main slate. Uh, in terms of totals on the Sunday, we're looking at the uh, the Baltimore game is one of the bigger ones. The San Francisco game starts at uh, 425, so that's in there. Dallas is late night, so it's out. And then we got New Orleans, Indianapolis, Pittsburgh's a, a late night Monday game, so that one's out as well. So there's a lot of good games, and there's also a lot of low point total games on the slate as well. So uh, the big, big ones I'd say is the Baltimore, the San Francisco, and New Orleans is a, a couple of really big points total. So what I've done here in my spreadsheet is I have my implied totals that come in every single week so it's our automatically adjusted for us so we can take a look at uh, what it is and then also our, our weekly salary so this is uh, based on DraftKings weekly salaries and DraftKing points for the previous years so what I've done is I've taken the season long projections so if we go into quarterback running back wide receiver tight end it has all the positions, what their season-long projections are, how many yards, how many rushing yards, pass attempts, completions, touchdowns, interceptions, etc. And gives a, and from that, it gives us a total fantasy point production per game and a, a yearly fantasy projection as well. Now, this is updated from several different sources, and it gets automatically imported into the spreadsheet, and then I automatically make the adjustments from there. So from there, I got a points per game, uh, total amount, and then I estimate what the uh, price would be for the player. Uh, I got a total usage, so pass attempts per game, rush attempts per game, rush yards per game, total attempts, and, and then the team. And then this over here is just the weekly section. So this dives into the weekly numbers. So I, I've set this up for each player. It shows their season long, their total uh, per game projections on average, and then the weekly adjustments as well. So it goes through running back, quarterback, wide receiver, tight end. So we have all the, the details there. And then I also look at team expectations and team totals, uh, how much I can expect points per game for a team to produce, what the Vegas applied is for the week, and then adjust from there. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the total for each position, adding it together, and then calculating what the estimate average points per game is for that particular team. So in this, I have Dallas uh, at 25, I have Casey at 25, I have the Rams at 24.7, I have Denver at almost 25 points, so some really high teams uh, as well. Then what I'm going to do is I take the weekly implied odds. So for example, we're looking at uh, Kansas City. Their regular is supposed to be about 25 points. Their weekly implied is 31.75. Uh, so their difference is about 126% of what averages so it's just basically the difference between the average game and the weekly game and that's how I get the uh, adjustment here so this doesn't take into consideration matchups it doesn't take into consideration injuries it doesn't take into consideration a lot of things uh, but it's just a little something to get you started based on what we're looking at on a, a yearly and a weekly basis so once I have that adjustment I bring that adjustment into each uh, column and over here you're going to see the weekly adjustments for each player uh, based on the game conditions the implied totals and their uh, averages 
from that, it, the adjustment multiplies based on uh, the points per game average throughout the entire season. So in this case, uh, Lamar Jackson has an average per game of 22.56 points per game. We're adjusting by 130%. So the total points per week is 29.4 for the first week. So he's expected to have an uh, extremely big game uh, to get the start off with at that high team total. So I've gone ahead and done this with all the particular players uh, that are set up. And then just for week one, I've imported the DraftKings salaries just so we can have a look at and see what kind of value is present. So just to, just to go over the first week, now all these numbers are subject to change, of course, because we still have about a week out. Injuries and adjustments and a lot of things going to happen between now and then, but just, just to give you a rough outline. So looking at week one, we see Lamar Jackson is a huge value over the field. He's the biggest um, play, and he's expected to get the highest number, so he's expected to get about 29 points. So rushing, probably close to 100 yards, plus some passing, maybe 200 yards. Um, but expect to have a huge week for Lamar Jackson. He's probably the biggest value on the board right now. If we're looking at running backs, the one that sticks out to me right away is Alvin Kamara. He's uh, looking at a huge value for the first week. Uh, right now, we don't know how he's going to, how Latavius Murray's going to move into the mix, but we'll f assume that Alvin Kamara is pretty safe for a uh, single backfield. If we move into wide receivers, of course, Michael Thomas is huge, so I'm expecting a lot of points out of the uh, New Orleans game. Um, another one that jumps out to me is Kenny Galladay. Expected to get uh, quite a few points, but I mean, it's a cheaper play, so there's a lot of value there. Another cheaper play is Calvin Ridley. Get a good off of uh, there, and then also Keenan Allen at 6,400 seems extremely cheap for him um, but I'm not too sure about the quarterback situation with the changing in QB over there so it might be a little bit different now we dive into the tight ends there's only a few few options that you could even look at uh, playing you're looking at Kittle, Zach Gertz, Darren Waller, Mark Andrews they're all at bar ballpark in the the same range for sure but uh when you dive down low, lower in price, you got Jack Doyle and Ian Thomas. There's a couple of other options available based on value as well. So overall, this is just going to give you some good, a good outline of what you can expect. As we build further and further, I'm planning on putting matchup uh, information, uh, DVP, so uh, some different options available in this to help make decisions easier uh, but this is really a great way just to get you started just to look at the season and uh, see if you can find some value options see see if you can find things that really stick out to you like for me I like to find plays where I'm gonna get a lot of pass attempts and have a game with a lot of passes because you have a lot more a lot more downs and a lot, a lot longer of a game with pass attempts versus rush attempts so I like to look for that and and this tool will definitely help you to find those options so I put the link in the description if you want to check out the tool I'm going to be updating it throughout the season as always like comment subscribe let me know what I can do and uh, we'll talk to you soon thanks